Done. Thank you. Oh, come on, dude. By the freaking. Yeah, I mean, stairs right now. Oh, I'll pour found a bomb. You know? must defend it. Savannah dead. In, inside, inside. Why is nobody Pushing watching that? In front of Red Hall. In B. In B, rotate. B, rotate. Nice, nice shit. Nice. That baby Quinn! Whoop, 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 whoop! What's up YouTube, Cheese here. Now I know I've been putting this video off for quite some time and that's because I changed my sensitivity uh, about two-ish seasons ago and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to stick with it or not. Uh, but I got champion this season and I've been liking the sense so far so I think I am going to end up staying with it for a while. So I figured now would be a good time to make this video. Um, for any of you guys that don't know, when I first started playing, I've always been kind of a high sense player in every game that I've ever played. When I first started playing Siege, way back when i used to run 100 100 100 sensitivity which was you know now I, I can't do that really anymore i'm just not a cracked little 14 year old anymore so it's just it just doesn't work for me i can't react fast enough but um yeah so anyways i used to run super super fast since over time i've slowly gotten slower with it and uh kind of gone that route because I feel like I've been I've become more consistent because I've run slower sense I feel like it's easier to stay more consistent the slower sense you run but I also like running a faster sense for the simple fact that you can react to your surroundings faster right like you can turn around faster you can move faster, you can flick faster the hardest part about it though is being consistent and being able to control that sensitivity so where I'm at right now I'm pretty comfortable um, I haven't been here, I haven't been running the sense for a super long time. It's been about two seasons, like I just said. <clears throat> um, so I am comfortable with it. I kind of understand, you know, the whole layout of it. But anyways, we'll just run through the settings really quick. You know, like every video that's ever been made about settings in Rainbow Six Siege. General, um, you guys want to see interface preferences. I do play with points off um, for the simple fact that I just think they're kind of distracting. They distract me. Um, when I'm playing on other accounts and I don't have them turned off, they distract me. And I, most of the time I can kind of tell what's going on. Like when I'm bandit tricking a wall or something like that, I can tell by the sound and all that sort of thing, what's happening. And even like if I down somebody, most of the time I can tell by the number of shots I put into them and by the sounds that I got the down. <clears throat> the only part where playing with points off kind of throws you is if you down somebody with a grenade or something around, something like that, where you don't have a direct like line of sight on the person or you, there's no way for you to hear them, then it can be a little difficult to play with points off. I don't recommend playing with points off. I just do it because I like how clean it looks and it's not distracting. Um, audio, uh, master volume, I do play on night mode. So I know a lot of people um, play on hi-fi. I play night mode. I think it just, it makes the gunshots quieter and, and I think it's easier to hear footsteps that way in my own opinion. Some people will probably disagree, but, you know, that's just what I run. Video, brightness 63, V-Sync off, of course. Um, controls, so that's what you guys really want to get into. My vertical sensitivity is at 50. So a couple seasons ago, I was running 100, 100, so vertical 100, horizontal 100, and ADS 50. I ran that for about, I ran that sensitivity for about a year and a half. Um, before that, I ran 100, 163, so I've slowed down my ADS a little bit like I was saying earlier, just to be more consistent. Um, so I slowed it down. <clears throat> we go to controller, the advanced settings, or advanced ADS is what I use now. Um, I don't, so I have this set to 200 just because when people ask me to do a challenge round with 200 ADS sensitivity, it just takes super long to kind of change my settings to that. But um, I don't run 200 ADS, it's just set, it's just set to that, but in reality, I'm using the advanced settings for 50 ADS. So uh, if you guys don't know, you can go and use a sense calc. So I'll leave a description below um, for a link to that sense calculator if you guys don't know or haven't done that already. But there's a whole calculator where you type in, you know, your FOV, your sense, and it'll give you the numbers that you see here on my screen. That's, that's what I use this season. So <clears throat> at the very start of the season, when they changed all of the 
advanced settings and advanced sense and all that shit. I just went, did the sense calc and got my numbers. And I've been running these all season. I do like them. I think they, they fit pretty well. Obviously, you can kind of tweak them to wherever you want. But this is just what works for me. So anyways, guys, that's that's really about it for settings. I run optic color yellow just because I like the color yellow because it looks like cheese. I'll paste the 100. And that, that's really about it, man. Um, nothing too crazy. I, uh, I'm going to finish off the video with some clips. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't want to use the link in the description for the sense calc, you can also go to Twitch or my Twitch channel. Let me get to it really quick. I'll show you guys. Type in exclamation point sense calc in the chat. I don't even have to be streaming, so I can be offline. Just type it in. It'll give you the link. You click the link, and there you go. You're just going to type in um, the values that you need. And then it'll give you all your numbers for your sensitivity. It's, it's really simple to use, not very hard. Um, obviously, this is my aspect ratio. This is set to my PC settings. If you were doing aspect ratio, you would set this to 16.9 because that is the default settings for console. So just make sure you set all these numbers right. You make sure you put the right sensitivity in, and it'll calculate it out for you. Super easy, super easy to use. Not, not difficult at all. Anyways, guys. That's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I've kind of been running Fast Sense. I know there's not a ton of like controller players who use Fast Sense. Oh, by the way, I probably should have said that earlier. I use an Elite Series 2 controller, not MK for anybody who doesn't already know that. Sorry, I just kind of assume that you guys already do. I use all four paddles. <clears throat> if you want the settings for my Elite Series 2 controller, I do have a video of that already made. And I haven't changed the settings since the video, so I'm not really going to make a new one. I'll leave a link. Uh, to that video in the description below as well or you can just kind of look at my settings anyways guys that's really about it i hope you enjoyed the video um at the end of the day man sense is completely personal pre preference <laughs> almost says presence sense is completely personal preference um whatever works for you works for you and my sensitivity might not work for you like for a lot of people my sense is too fast and fast sense really isn't for everyone to be honest it's it's hard to stay consistent um you have to run you know like teons to get warmed up and like stay on top of your sensitivity otherwise it's going to be too much for you and if you play other first person shooter video games um you're gonna want to run a fast sense in those as well just for the simple fact that it'll make it easier to transition between the two so like if you run slow sense in like apex and then you go and play Rainbow Six Siege, where you're running fast sense, you're going to be all over the place missing your shots. So one thing I would recommend for anybody who's trying to get better at running fast sensitivities is to run fast sense in everything all across the board. Otherwise, it's just going to be super way more difficult than it needs to be. And you have to play a ton more TNs to get warmed up, and it's just going to take take forever. Way more work than you need to do. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of the clips. I appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You know, I read all comments always. Thank you, guys. I love you. Um, I guess I check out my Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> Links in the description below for those as well. Thank you again. Stay cheesy. Sophia does they're trying, they're trying to get me. That was stupid. Yeah, that's a guy who dropped red. Another one? That was dumber. Dude, come right. on, man. There's no way this guy repels us. <laughs> who are we playing? There's no way. Bro. What is with Blackbeards and saving KDs? My god. You can follow Rusty. Probably. I was really running around like an idiot. I don't think I'm making it. Are you done? Grab your bomb. I'm just gonna hop window. You guys got a challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna drop hatch. Okay, done.